The shelter themselves are going to then have a fee, and that's a separate item. It should be a separate item in the cost estimate, and that covers their costs, including the people that work for them, providing the services, the ones that are on their payroll, and their profit. Shelters charge in various ways, so it's important when you're comparing to drill down and and identify those differences. Most full-service shelters will either charge per head or per payroll hour, And typically, they'll use a sliding scale so that the larger your organization is, the lower the per head rate or the lower the per hour rate that they apply. That information should, of course, be in the contract and it should be provided to you up front. Now, some shelters, as I mentioned earlier, include heads on your payroll that they require you to have. So Shelter X might say, you have to have this employee on your payroll. We require it as part of our contract. That employee will probably be included in the headcount or payroll hour calculation. Their shelter fee might be a little lower, but it'll be on a higher base. Whereas shelter Y may say, no, those people are on our payroll. So their shelter rate per hour might be a little higher, but the base they use for calculation is a little lower. So you need to be very careful about those comparisons. The other thing to watch for is that some shelters will add transaction fees while others won't. Many shelters, us included, just pass through the operational costs. We don't mark them up. Our fee is a single item. But some shelter companies spread that out and they'll apply, say, a percentage to every purchase that you make or every payroll that you run, that kind of thing. There is a difference in soft landing models. In soft landing models or transition models, then transactional costs make a lot more sense because the base is changing, the tasks for the shelter company is changing rapidly, and so therefore charging everything per transaction can be a common scenario. Certain shelters will offer that as an option to their standard rate system, or they'll only apply it in a transition, either case is uh, possible but it's certainly for transitional activities that that does make sense to go by transaction a lot more work but it makes sense in terms of the changing services 